Our today's topic is flip flops. Flip flops. Okay. The output of the digital circuits, like and or not, like that, are dependent entirely on the inputs. That was the input. Output depends upon the input, you know. If the input changes state, output may also change the state. Okay, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, there are requirements for a digital device that the output remain unchanged, even if the change in the input levels. This type of device could be used to store a binary number. Flip-flop is such a device to store a binary number. Okay. Flip-flop are used in the construction of registers, counters, and a number of other applications. You know, in a sequential, uh, I'll explain in the next video what, what we mean by sequential. Flip-flop serves as the key memory elements. And analysis of such circuits are done through the two tables, characteristic equations of the flip-flop. Now, today, we are going RS flip-flop. You know, before going RS flip-flop, what we mean by, by stable, any device or circuit that has two stable states is said to be by stable. Okay, example, a toggle switch is a by stable because it having the two stable states. Like this, a toggle switch, it is, it may on and or it may off. Okay, and on and off mean the two states. It is either up or either down, depending upon the position of the switch. Right? This type of switch is also said to have the memory, since it will remain as set until some changes is position. Likewise, a flip-flop is a bistable electronic circuit that has two stable states. That is, its output is either 0 or plus 5 volt DC. The flip-flop also has the memory since its output remains as set until is done to change. Flip-flop or the switch can be regarded as the memory device. Any bi-stable device can be used to store one binary digit. When the flip-flop has its output set at 0 volt DC, then can be regarded as a storing a logic zero. When its output is set as plus 5 volt DC, then storing a logic one. This is, you know, it is also called a latch. Now we are going to understand was RS flip-flop. You know, NOR gate outputs 0, 0, 1. 0, 1 is 0. 1, 0 is 0. 1, 1 is all zeros except 0, 0 is 1 only. Remember the NOR gate logics. So let's start with R and S. Both are 0, 0. Like R is here, 0. And S is also 0. Now, before... Um, Discussing that uh, was the output, we to remember, we to uh, observe what, what was the previous state before discussing. Previous state, let we assume Q is 1 and Q bar is 0. Q bar is complement of Q. If Q is 1, Q bar will be 0. Let we assume that. So if the 0 is coming here, 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 and it will reach at here, okay, and now 0 and 0, see the table, La, 0, 0 is 1. So here, you know, the output of the NOR gate will give you the 1. The 1 is here, 
okay so this one is coming one this one is flowing and it is going 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 and which is here one zero see the table again one zero is zero so output of the nor gate is zero now this zero this zero you know like uh, last hit uh, way to uh, here it is important for the uh, you know last state was uh, q1 and 0 and there is no change in the last state it is as it is when r is 0 s is 0 whatever the previous state it will exist okay so remember 0 0 last state exists whatever it is now we are going to see what happen if r is 0 and s is 1 so the previous state is 1 0 q is 1 and q complement is 0 okay now this one is coming one is coming one is coming one is coming one here see the table one one will give you zero okay the zero will be at here and then this zero will flow and will go 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 and here now it is zero zero is here see the table zero zero is what it is one so it will be one here okay one mean it is a set state if q is one it is called set and remember previous state was q is one and q bar is zero and uh, the result is coming the same now we think otherwise other way if previous state was q was zero and q bar was 1 then what will happen with 0 1 okay if the previous state was q is 0 and q bar is 1 then what will happen um, like the logic input um, inputs are the same 0 and 1 r is 1 and r is 0 and s is 1 but um, i have i altered the previous state okay this is zero this zero is coming 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 and reaches here zero one zero one what as output zero okay the zero will come here but q complement you know q complement uh, becomes now zero so no one now Q complement is 0 according to the NOR gate, this lower NOR gate. Now this 0, this is, this will go, this will flow, is going, 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 reaches here. Now you know what is 0 and 0, see the table, that 0, 0 is 1. So 0, 0 is 1, 1 is at here uh, 0 goes no 0 now q q is 1 okay q becomes 1 now the 1 is 1 is coming 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 1 is you know like coming 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 is 1 1 1 1 is again 0 so q complement is 0 so that's the result so even whatever the last state, if R is 0, S is 1, it is 100% sure Q will always be 1. Whatever the previous state was, no problem. Q will always be 1. This is very, very important to remember. Okay, now let's come in. For the next one, 
Now, next one we are thinking previous state as q is 1 and q complement is 0. And uh, the uh, two inputs r and s, that's 1, 0. If r is 1, s is 0, what will happen? Let's see. So r is 1. So this is r is 1. And uh, s is 0. Okay. Previous state, remember, 1 and 0. Okay. This one. Uh, picking from it. Let this one, this one is, you know, this one is flowing, coming, 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 coming. One zero. One zero, what gives? Zero. So output is zero, okay. This zero is coming now, going, 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 going to upper knockit, which is here. One zero. What is 1, 0? 1, 0 is again, you know, table, it is 0. So, it is 0. I am holding this 0 here and let it at Q, it is 0 now. It's not 1, according to upper no gate. Okay, see, now this is 0. Now, hold this 0 here. And uh, it will go, it coming, 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 coming here. And both are, both inputs of lower kit, lower no kit is 0, 0. So what is 0, 0? See the table, it is 1, the 1 comes here. Now it is OK. Q is 0 and Q complement is 1. This is right. So, this is now one Q, Q complement is one going, going, going. And uh, this one reaches here, but no problem. One, one is again zero. So, this is a stable state. If R is one, it is 100% sure what over, whatever the previous state, but the Q will always be 0. If R is 1, Q will always be 0. That is called reset. Okay. That's no problem. Whatever the previous state exists. So it is called reset because Q is 0 and Q complement is 1. That's called reset. Okay. Now, now the previous state is what Q is 0 and Q bar is 1. Now, last one. 1, 1. If R is 1, S is 1, what will happen? Okay. The result will be forbidden. How it is forbidden? Let's see. R is 1. S is 1. Previous state is 0, 1. So, let's hold the 1. This one is going, 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 going. Reaches here. Now, what is 1, 1? At is 0. So okay, this Q is zero is okay. Now th this hold this Q this zero. Now this zero will come coming 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 zero. Now what is zero one? Again zero. See the table. Zero one is again zero. So this zero will be at here. Q complement becomes zero. No, this is a problem. Okay, both Q and Q complement are zero. So this is a big problem. This zero is going, reaches here. One zero is again, what? One zero is again zero. Now Q 
is zero q complement is zero this is not possible it is forbidden because q r1 s1 is forbidden because it forces the output of both nor gate to low state okay this is not valid so that's why we call it forbidden because q and q complement both coming the equals to zero it is never it